Basketball, you betcha I'm back. Ready to begin, ready to win, ready to get the training in. So let's go. It is the beginning of the week, so we need to work on our dribbling. That's right. We're going to be stationary with our dribble, but we are going to work our two dribble moves before we work our one dribble moves. So those one dribble moves are out the window today, and we're going to go with the two dribble moves today. So we're looking at double crosses. We're looking at crossover through the legs. We're looking at crossover through the legs. We're looking at through the legs behind the back. We're also looking at behind the back, crossing it over, and then we will do that on the move. So after we do that, we will go with some layups but before we get into that i'm gonna go ahead and give you the sets so we're gonna go 30 seconds each with each dribbling move so with those dribbling moves remember we want to keep them low we want to keep them tight and we also want to keep them under control so that we know how to protect that basketball during the game now if you haven't been here before you know that we've been doing about 290 ish workouts so if this is your first time go ahead and go back to the workouts and check out all the workouts that we have listed for you and you can start from the beginning where we have plenty of dribbling plenty of layups and also some shooting and if this is your 290th time coming by you know you got some work to do so let's get to it all right and now we're going to go through our layup series remember our layup series is regular layups we have off two layups. We also have inside hand layups. We have same leg layups. We have reverse inside hand layups and we have reverse outside hand layups. Now, don't forget, we're trying to elevate on all these layups and we're going full speed. If you're not going full speed, you're cheating yourself because when you get in the game, you're going to miss those layups. Whose fault is that going to be? Yours. All right. So remember, we don't take the blame for anything that we do if we don't do it 100%. So make sure you're doing it at a high level in order to get to a high level. All right, so after we make all those layups, you're only gonna go through once, we're going to then work our footwork layups, okay? Remember, our footwork layups are going to be rolling the basketball out and ripping through low and tight so that you can get by your defender. And make sure you're jump stopping on these layups and we're going to go five each side you're going to go five on the right side five on the left side all right after all of this you're probably a little tired so we are going to shoot some free throws those free throws are going to be five free throws you don't have to make them in a row you just have to make five all right then you're going to get a water break and then you're going to come back if i'm loud good because i'm trying to get you excited at the start of the week so let's go now hopefully you made those free throws if you didn't make those free throws hey it's okay that's why we have each day to come back and practice, right? All right, so now, as we continue this dribbling, remember, we want to start dribbling on the move. So uh, your first dribbles, we're going to be stationary. If you did them on the move, that's okay. You can flip it and do it stationary. If not, we're going to do it on the move. So remember, you got double cross, and you're going to get that timing with two feet. You're going to move those feet, move those feet, chop them, chop them, chop them, chop them, like you're seeing right here on the screen. And then you got your through the legs cross. You got your crossover through the legs. You got your through the legs behind the back, and then you have your behind the back crossover. Remember, these are all two dribble moves. These aren't just a whole bunch of fancy moves that you're doing, okay? It is to help you counter one way and then go the opposite way of the defender. Remember, we got to shift their feet. We can't continue to just dribble in front of people without moving our feet. That is not going to get us anywhere. The reason we do stationary dribble is to tighten up the handle, make sure it stays low, and then we start moving with it so that we can get have the ability of being able to shift the defenders. All right. So after we do that, remember, it's either 30 seconds or if you're on an actual court, you're going to go to half court and back. Now, as we get back into our layup series, we want to make sure that we are doing our layups in the diamond drill. So we're going to work on that crossover, crossover, and then we're going to cross over again and finish. Then we're going to go through the legs, through the legs, through the legs, and we're going to finish. And we're going to go behind the back, behind the back, and then we're going to finish. Now, remember, at the diamond drill, that's the top. So you're going to do it from the right side, and then you're going to do it from the left side. You're going to do it two times each, okay, on both sides. Then you're going to go to the wing. Okay. Once you go to the wing, remember, you're keeping it away from the defender and we're working those same moves. You're going to cross over again, finish the layup. You're going to go through the legs again, finish the layup. Then you're going to go behind the back, finish the layup. Remember, these are all the basic moves that you need to succeed. All right. And then we're going to go to the other side 
and do the same thing finishing on that left side. Now, after we finish these, we are not gonna go to the free throw line. We are now going to work our five spot layups, okay? Now you're working every area of the floor. So now you're working from the baseline to the wing to the top to the baseline and the wing again, all right? So we're gonna do that one time through and then go all the way back around. Okay. You can alternate hands when you do it. You don't have to have one specific hand as you go through it. We just want you to make layups. Make sure you rip and stay low and don't elevate until you're ready to come up and finish. That's where you're going to have most of your power. All right. Then you can go back to that free throw line. You can make five free throws. And yes, you will have conditioning today, but it's going to be dribbling. It's not going to be what you think where it's liners or some other type of dribbling. So let's be ready for that because uh, it's gonna be a doozy. All right, put the water bottle down. I said a water break, not a lunch break. So let's get to it. All right, so now it's your favorite part of the workout. It's the conditioning part. Don't turn the video off yet, okay? I want you to remember we have to be in shape. We have to be in the best shape. And if we're not, that's a problem. Okay, we have to use being in shape to the best advantage possible, knowing that people don't like to do it. So we are going to do, you can call this the triangle drill if you want. Okay, you're gonna start on one wing. You're gonna work your handle to the middle. Okay, you're gonna work your retreat dribble, work the counter dribble back to the elbow, then work your retreat dribble again, working back to the middle. And you're just gonna keep going in that cycle over and over again. We got five times. You're gonna go three sets of this. This drill is going to get you exhausted. The biggest thing in this drill is I want you to stay low. As you can see on video, as one of my players gets pretty tired, he starts to stand straight up, but it's okay. No worries about standing straight up. You just have to slowly work in time, staying low, staying low, staying low. Okay, it's a really good drill to work your retreat dribble, even though you aren't going against anybody, all right? And then after you do that, our last drill is going to be our zigzag, but not in the lower part of the court. I want you to get some layups in. So you're gonna do our zigzags coming from that mid court and you're going to go cross over, cross over, cross, boom. And then you're gonna go finish that layup, okay? Everything is full speed. It almost has that feel of the full court dribbling drill where you're alternating hands, but we're not doing that. We're going through the cones and we're going crossover, crossover, crossover. If you don't have cones, just give me three crossovers in space, all right? And then you're going to lay that basketball up. You can jump stop too, or you can Euro, or you can go same leg, however you feel necessary. But you're going to make five layups and you're gonna do it on the other side. And then that'll be the conditioning part for the workout. I mean, you're done, you guys did it. It's the beginning of the week, you came with it already. So. Impressive once again, as we close in on 300 workouts, I appreciate everybody for coming by as much as you do. And I couldn't do it without you guys. Basketball, you, you guys are the best. It is the Daily Trainer. And again, I am here to give you what you need guaranteed to succeed for the game that you love to play each and every day. And remember, someone's always working. Are you?